Hey everybody out there in Sunnyvale High School Jetland. It's Malcolm High, proud member of the class of 67. Got my morning coffee and my banana. It's a rainy day. It's uh, it's 940, about to pick up Norma of UCAN to take her to one of her medical appointments. And today we're gonna ask her things we didn't know about George Vukan. She'll be out here in a second. So we just got Norma into the car and what does she have for me? Part of a banana. <laughs> really, let's check it out. Banana bread. Banana bread, there's his cousin right there. I just consumed it. So Norma, I, we haven't rehearsed any of this, but I told people that I would ask you things we didn't know about your husband, George. What, what did do you, you know? Yeah, what did we not know? We knew he had a ruler. We knew he was in plays in college. Tell me something we didn't know about him. You knew he was in the, he was in the Air Force. He was right. a navigator. Yeah, on one of those planes in World War II. World War II. Got the Distinguished Flying Cross. Nice. Yeah, he graduated with honors from college. Which, and he went to, was it Appalachian? Appalachian. Appalachian State. Yeah. And uh, then he did his graduate work at the University of North Carolina. Wow. And he played football. He played football all through high school. At And what? all through college. And, and he was in high school in Pennsylvania. In Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. South High School. Yeah, and he wasn't the tallest of players, but he was pretty good. He made mention on somebody's little All-American team. <laughs> it wasn't because he was little. He was little All-American. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you like to say to people out there in Sunnyvale High Jet Land? Um. <laughs> I've asked you this before. Uh. Well, all hail alma mater. <laughs> all hail to Sunnyvale High. All hail to Sunnyvale High. Yeah. And what would you like to say to people that that went there and had George, and even though the school was only open 20 plus years, uh, it was a wonderful experience. He, he was there with the first graduating class, and he loved what he was doing. He enjoyed it. I'm gonna jump in. I have a saying uh, called, uh, we're creating young adults. When we're doing sports teams with our kids, you know, it's not so much winning and losing. We're creating young adults. There's not too many professional athletes amongst our kids, some. So I think George George felt that way too. He he tried to prepare them for life after after school. Yeah. Now, one, one more thing as we close. People will not believe your age. You cannot be 88 years old. I'm 98. Oh, 98. <laughs> Wait a minute. In golf, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you 10 strokes off. You're 88. <laughs> and since it's raining, we'll knock 10 more off. You're 78. Oh. Now, you're supposed to say to me, let's get to that appointment. <laughs> well, what, what, what can we do to get to 68? <laughs> <laughs> That's close to class of 67, my class. All right, say bye, kids. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> so I just dropped Norma off at the front at Palo Alto Medical here in Mountain View. And today's a special day because it's the last day that she'll get to see her doctor. He's retiring, Dr. Brown. And she's had him for up to 25 or 26 years. So this is a special day for Norma because Dr. Brown, her doctor, you've had for how long? Close to 30 years. 30 years? And in the time you and George have had medical care, you've only had two doctors. That's right. Gosh, that's amazing. Two good doctors. Yeah. Are you slow down? You're wearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> This is Norma's, one of Norma's favorite people in the world. Oh. And? And she's one, she's one of my favorite people. How long has she been coming here? How long have you been coming here? Well, when, how old is Sarah? Oh, I Dr. don't know. Dr. Brown's daughter. Oh, she's just, She was born right after, 
right after I, don't know, I started 25, saying. 25, 26. Oh, what a delight Norma has been all these years. I so look forward to seeing her each time she comes in. We just saw Dr. Brown. I got to meet him for the first time, and it turned out he's not retiring until August. Good. So we get to see him one more time. So Norma was going to tell us about George's birthday. George's birthday was February the second, Groundhog Day. He would have been 101. 101. Yeah, 101. And that day, does it keep getting repeated? That's a good birthday to have. It keeps repeating itself. Yeah, well, yeah, the season we're in the second, so it's one and one. <laughs> so anyway, everything worked out. You're healthy. You look good. Now we're going to go have uh, boiler makers at a bar down the road. Are you buying? <laughs> Beer in a shot? I'm in shock. Wait a minute. It's, it's only 11.04. We can't. It has to be noon, right? Oh, no. I told him I wasn't coming for lunch. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.